Yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to Lily White Lane. Hope you're having a fantastic Christmas time and Boxing Day, spending it with your loved ones. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you're having a fantastic week. Tottenham 2, Brentford 2, that is the full-time result today. Tottenham come away with the G-Tech Stadium with a point. Is a point the worst result in the world? Probably not. I'd argue that you're looking at Brentford's form, just beating Manchester City. You know, smashed Man United 4-0. Yes, he might be going to prison soon, but Ivan Tony banging in goals. Brian and Burma, it's not the worst result in the world. And to come back from 2-0 down once again shows that the mentality in this squad has changed in some players. And by some players, I mean Harry Kane will carry on till the last minute now. Players such as Perisic, Kulisewski. And then we have to... We as fans have to go through Eric Dyer. What a calamitous performance today from Eric Dyer. Diabolical. Cost us the game with this stupid mistake which led to Tony's second goal. I mean, for the neutral it was probably a great game, but it was it was hard to watch as a Spurs fan at times. Once again, and we went 2-0 down. I thought, okay, that's the game done and dusted. We ain't winning this. We ain't coming back for a draw. And we did. And I think you've got to look at that result and go, do we want more? Yeah. But it's not the worst result in the world. It's not the worst result in, in the world against an on-form Brentford side. And we're a team right now. Look, it's it's another slow start. I think as fans, we wanted to believe that we were going to come back from the World Cup and all would be new and different and like the start of a new season. We settled straight back into the same defensive sort of football in that first half. But we showed our mentality in the second. Positives from the game. Harry Kane, brilliant header. Hoybier as well, really stepped up. I thought we really stepped up in the second half and were unlucky not to win it. The reason we didn't win it was because of that stupid mistake. And, you know, those last five minutes, what is Dyer doing? What is he actually doing? You know, absolutely criminal, criminal defending at times. And he's let the team down. And once again, this is why us fans bang on about a big January transfer window. Because you've got players like Kulisevsky, Kane, Perisic, Hoybier, Ben Sanker, you know, who are going to go till the last minute. And they're let down week in, week out by stupid errors from players you can't be trusted. And today it was Dyer. Maybe next week it'll be Sanchez. The week after it'll be Royale. But we always end up going behind because these stupid errors from these players. And if we bought in a very decent centre-back in January, if we bought in a very decent right wing-back, we'd be less likely to, to make these errors and hopefully not have to come from behind to get a result in every single game. But look, as I say, I'm not going to be coming here ranting and moaning. It's Christmas. And I don't think it's that bad a result. I think you've got to look at it as a whole. We stay in fourth. It's not the worst result in the world. Away from home, you've got to remember only one team. I'm sorry if I do shake a bit. It's bloody freezing now. But you've got to remember only one team. And yes, it's Arsenal. It's painful that it's Arsenal. But only one team has went away to Brentford this season and won. You know, it's very hard to go there and get a result. Nice little ground, good stadium, good fans. And they will bang up for it. You know, all their players haven't been to the World Cup. Or pretty much none of them have. I think Raya was on the bench for Spain the whole tournament. And look, I'm I'm chuffed with the point. I'm not I'm not over the moon. I'm not going to go dancing about it. But I'll take it. You know, we move on to Aston Villa on New Year's Day. And I think a lot of people are going, oh, Brentford 2-2 draw. It's like, don't underestimate these guys. Yes, they might be sat mid-table. But look at the form. Look at the teams they've been playing. But look, for the neutral, it was probably a great game. Chances left, right and centre. Should have had a penalty, in my opinion hit the bar, things went wrong like they normally do with Spurs, but look, we move on, we move on to Boxing Day, in this club we love, no matter the result, thank you for watching this video, take care of yourselves, all the best, God bless, have a smashing week, and Boxing Day, and as always, come new Spurs, in Conte, we trust.